Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm going to teach you how to make the Millionaire Sushi Roll. And it's quite a pricey roll to make, so if you can take out a bank loan to make it, it's well worth it. And it's just delicious. So let's get straight into making it. Let's go. Okay, so you start by taking half a sheet of nori and you spread out 120 grams of cooked sushi rice over it. Nice and softly. Do not press it down. Just fluff the sushi rice out. If you don't know how to make sushi rice, the link is just appear on the top left corner to my recipe, how to make sushi rice. Okay, so now you take your mat and move it up the board and clean the board with a wet towel so that the rice doesn't stick to the board so much. And now place it over that. Okay, so now what you do is you take one third of an unagi grilled eel and you place it on top of your half sheet of nori. Then add some thinly sliced cucumber. Okay, now to roll the sushi roll. Usually I use a bamboo rolling mat underneath this, but you can just curl it over with your hands and just form the sushi roll like this. You don't really need a bamboo mat. And now you just use a bamboo mat to firm it up. Now this method is a bit harder than the usual way. If you're new at this, try the method in some of my older sushi roll videos instead of this one. Okay, so once you firmed it up, you turn it on its side and you firm it up again, and then you turn it on its side one more time to firm it up one last time. And this is done so you get nice smoothness all the way around. Otherwise it looks a bit squared. This looks a bit more round now. Okay, so now you take a sliced avocado and you take slices one by one, adding them to your sushi roll. And I'm doing it this way because I want spaces in between. I don't want a massive amount of avocado. So I'm leaving gaps on purpose. Okay, so once you've covered the entire sushi roll with avocado, you place a piece of cling fill over and another bamboo mat just to fix that on. Once you fix that on, what you do is you take your knife, you wet it in some water, and then you make three cuts. One in the middle and two on either side just to get a nice smooth cut on both ends of the sushi roll. Then you wet your knife again just to make sure the rice doesn't stick to it much. And now you cut the two blocks in the middle into three pieces. Even, and then do the same for the other blocks. Okay, so then you end up with six sushi pieces and two end pieces. I recommend you just get rid of the end pieces, eat them instead of presenting them on a plate because they look a little bit scruffy. Alright, so now you take your cling film off and just inspect your sushi roll pieces, make sure everything is good. They look pretty good. Yes. You're just going to move them to one side, make sure they're all good. Alright, so like I've said, we've got six pieces of sushi and two end pieces. But you might notice that four are just about to disappear now because I'm a little bit hungry and what the heck, I want to eat this now. Okay, so now you take your four pieces of sushi and spread them out equally across a plate. And then you take some foie gras. Now this has black truffles in it. Little slices of black truffles going all the way across and two big ones stuck against the windows. It's rather expensive, but unbelievably delicious. So just place a little sliver of foie gras onto each individual piece of sushi. Take your time with this because you don't want to have massive blocks of foie gras on the sushi roll pieces. You want to have thin slivers, otherwise it becomes too overwhelming. Okay, so nearly done here. One more to go. There we go. It's a nice little piece of truffle on that last one. Okay, so now I'm simply just going to take a blowtorch and start to burn the top of the foie gras with it and brulee it and get all those beautiful aromas releasing as the foie gras starts melting brown and just becomes something completely different to cold foie gras. Okay, so now that I'm done with brûlée the foie gras, I'm just going to take a bit of caviar from a sturgeon fish. And this comes from Rio Frio, which is just two hours away from where I live. And it's quite pricey, just like the foie gras with truffles in it. But it's a delicacy and it's just an awesome thing to have. So just place a small little scoop on top of every sushi roll and just be generous with it. Okay, once you're done with that, just I'm gonna put this away, the caviar. 
Oh yeah, so now I'm just gonna make it rain. Not with money, just with gold. So this is edible gold leaf, which I'm just sprinkling over, and I find it very fitting, considering it's the millionaire sushi roll. There should be expensive stuff on it. There we go. Now I'm just gonna add some shredded carrot as garnish, and some shredded cucumber. Again, another little piece of garnish. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of pickled ginger, followed by a little wasabi flour. Now I'll take a little bit of truffle oil and just a tiny dash of truffle oil, mix it in with some extra virgin olive oil. A lot of extra virgin olive oil. You want a ratio of about 10 to one, and one being truffle oil. Now the reason for this is truffle oil is very strong and pungent, so I don't want to overwhelm the sushi roll with it. Now I'm just gonna drizzle it over. There we go, nearly finished. And that's basically it. We're done here. And voila. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to make it at home, check out the ingredients by clicking on the bottom left corner of your screen. And even if you're not going to make it at home, you just might want to check out how ludicrously expensive some of those things were, especially like the caviar and the black truffle foie gras that was really up there was just insanity for what you get. Anyway, if you want to check out more of my videos, check them all out right now by clicking on the right. Also, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.